Hey everyone, it's Joe Lyons from the Automator and uh, Isaiah and I, we were, we were chatting the other day about this overall topic of what are COM objects in DLL uh, files, dynamic link library files, right? And functions in them. Um, and that was where we had this really interesting discussion. I don't know if Isaiah, you just want to start leading us off here and I'll try now. <laughs> hi, hi. So um, let me go ahead and just say uh, the two things are connected. It's not that they're separate. Right, so now, first of all, you have to understand what a, what a DLL is. Um, and you yourself, you have created out of hotkey scripts that contain a lot of functions. And that's it. You have a lot of functions for using it in a script, for example. Now, the problem is those functions can only be used inside out of hotkey. Mm -hmm. right? Very good. Now, the same happens in other languages. You can have. Uh, a lot of a file that contains a lot of functions, but you can only use them in the C++ file or program that you're programming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, a DLL is just a binary version of it. It is a compiled version of a lot of functions. That's what a dynamic mm -hmm. link library is. It's a library of functions. Now you can actually refer to it in a compiled program, even if you didn't. So uh, usually, so, so you have this C++ code and yeah. now you include a file that contains a lot of functions, right? Mm -hmm. Right, that's good. How about if I created a program and I didn't include those functions? Well, the DLL the allows DLL. you yes. to use those functions even if you didn't actually well, compile them in your program. And, and I was talking to Geek Dude four months ago. We were chatting about something, and he was saying how he had gotten where now he can peek inside his own executable um, and have wrapped those like DLL functions inside there without it. It's all seamless. So you have one file, and yet you're able to do like DLL calls to your own exe without extracting it, you know, and, and you know, without creating another file. Sorry. Yes. Like, yeah. uh, a dynamic li link library is an executable. The only problem is you cannot double click it to execute it because mm -hmm. it is just a library. Now, an executable file like his program, he created a program, is an exe. It is executable because it has some main functions uh -huh. that they could use. Uh -huh. It has more functions in it. You can still access them as if it was a DLL call. It's the same thing. The only thing is that a program, an executable file, has a main function. Which we, we talked about that. Right. Yeah, I think I think that was off camera, but we were talking earlier about libraries and that libraries are just a group of functions, but they don't have a, a quote unquote purpose. They don't have something. No, no, no. Like, this no, is what exactly. Doing. And that's right. where the executable does, right? Right, right. exactly. Your, the executable has a purpose. Right. And okay, fine. Now, now that you understand what a DLL is, now here's the problem. I have yeah. a DLL file yeah. that has a lot of functions, but they are not implemented, which means that I would have to call them directly. And that means that I would have to call them in the language that they You're were right. written. Right. right. So if it, if it is a C library, you would have to call the functions in the C language. Right. If it is a C++, is, you would have to do it in C++. Yeah. So now Which you have this DLL issue. when you're dealing, it seems so much more complex. It's because they are in the sense of your programming in C++. In a different language. Yes. That's what it is. The reason why, if you're programming in Auto Hotkey, you, you see DLL calls as such a foreign thing right. is because you are looking at a foreign thing. Yeah. It is C++. It is not Auto Hotkey. And those other languages, often those where we're referencing them, they don't, you have to define every variable as like, is it an integer it's, or whatever? It's not that simple. Things, yeah. you have to do a lot of manual work. Right. right. So now here's the difference. Now you have to do a little call. Uh, it is difficult to call them directly because you don't know C++. Right. Um, how about if I'm using visual basic scripting language? which is not the same as C++. How can I call that? Oh, well, they invented a, a system called a COM object. So they grab a DLL library, which is a, a function library. They create an object that is already implementing all of those uh, calls yeah. into a, 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 a virtual object. 
that now when you import it into VBA, the object is going to look like native code to you. Yep. Right? It's going to look like your native code. And you can call the functions that were in that library. The same with auto hotkey. Right. Auto hotkey allows you to connect to a com object. Like for example, the, the Internet Explorer it's... com object, right? Yeah, right. So, so you connect to it and now you write out a hotkey syntax yep. and it just works, right? Right. So that same com object can be accessed from C sharp, can be accessed from virtual basic. It can be accessed from auto hotkey, JavaScript, whatever you want. You can, well, I don't know if JavaScript can connect to a com object. I was, I was just mentioning a scripting right. language. Yep. But basically any scripting language right. that allows you to connect to a com object, yes, you can connect to the com object and you would write the code in that language that you're writing in your language right right exactly yep. that's the beauty of com objects yeah so so this is so this sound kind of crazy but we are talking about language languages right so when you were saying this i'm like com objects are google translate you know in the sense of like it, it's <laughs> hey you know the, the, I, do the I put in what i know and it converts it into something that like someone else is actually can enter you know c plus plus can enter. Okay. <laughs> But I don't know yes, Spanish, but I can go here and I can enter it. And, and so this, thing this is the thing. This is the interesting thing. It is a lot of work. So so it is a lot of work because, um, how do I say this? Uh, the person who created the DLL file, beside their DLL file, now have to create uh, an interface that is language neutral kind of yeah sure right right and yeah. that's the reason why you find some dll's that have a com object and some others that don't right because that's a lot of work it's not that simple if you want to grab the gdi plus library that has thousands of functions and you need now to convert those into a com object that's a lot of work to be done there they are actually working on something more important at the moment. That's what is going on. So that's why you don't find like a com object for the GDI plus. Now you can create your own. You can grab your, but that's a lot of work. It's like a lot well, of things. Right? Yeah, and that was why I, I told you this the other day when I was I was looking at site for Auto Hotkey, and I at the time in Studio you couldn't copy the rich text format. You know, like the with all the IntelliSense behind it, uh -huh, and uh -huh. so I'm like, oh site you can i'm gonna you know and site has a com object so i'm gonna go ahead and just use site and grab it well when site was open i could use a site act you know the the com object to activate you know site and right. do it but um finks didn't create a com object create um component okay. com object, right. right and and that's when i'm like I, I oh i have to start site and then, then I have access to the com object. But he's like, well, go you can go ahead and create your own, you know, and create this. And I'm like, yeah, huh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll get it right on that, man. Um, and I'm not knocking him, right? Like, and no, no, actually, no, no, of course. It, it is like, it is, it is, it is. It's like, a lot uh, of work, right? Especially it's, for somebody who hasn't done that before. Yeah, so if sure, you have, yeah. if you have created one or two com objects, like you, you say like, yeah, that's easy. It's not that big of a deal. Well, and I got to think. very simple. But you could probably how, how, whoever yeah. could borrow for, since this one already has the active, they could probably borrow a lot from that to get the create one, right? And just um now but let, anyway, me, let me let me let me clarify something now that we're in that topic before yeah. we finish. Um when you use the come up to create, um, and he told you like you could do your own, I think he's referring to registering it. So for example, you uh, I'm not sure if he meant like create the com object. No, completely. create the com. There is no com object create for it. Uh huh. It doesn't okay. work. Yeah. Okay. And no, I understand because, what you're saying. Register, right, the, registering. Registering uh, it. So, 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 right. So, so, so in, in some cases, and the, it's no, 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 no. No, but yeah. I mean this like the, the DLL call, uh, the, the, the DLL file has the com object implemented. You just have to register it because Windows didn't register it at the beginning. Uh -huh um but i'm not sure if that's what he meant well maybe we'll go down the path sometime and, right. and we, we could actually ask him yeah. and tell him well, what, well what i have meant. the somewhere have the thread you know okay yeah we can we look could at actually it. take a look but, at but it. still right. i think the main point was it was really cool when the other day we were talking about the dll's and that and then it, it just all of a sudden we were talking i'm like 
now I understand the com objects because I was getting confused on DL, when to use a DLL versus a com object, and then like they're they're not one and the same, but they're related. They the com object related. peeks right. inside of that DLL for you, and at the end, and I think we said this. The DLL function, let's say, might have a thousand functions in it. I'm just making it up. The com object theoretically could have fifty, you know, things you can do. It doesn't yes. have necessarily everything that's in the DLL, right? It just. I has... was just going to talk about that. I was yeah. just going to tell you when we were looking at the UI automator, uh, the UI automation thing, yeah. right? Yeah. One of the things that I saw is that the UI automation object that is defined by Windows is not complete. Like, well, not the UI automation. But some of the some of the objects that you need are not implemented. So for the UI automation, you have another com object that is the UI element. Mm -hmm. So the UI automation object is implemented as a com. Hey. But the UI element is not implemented as a com. So mm -hmm. now on one, I gotcha. already have it, but yes. the other one I have to make I it. Do, I do remember <laughs> something at the time we were looking at yeah. it. Yeah. Now, now, also, in like back to IE and using the com object there, um, and I know for a lot of people, it's annoying, I guess is the best way to say it, because it's, it's like, you know, it's easy to deal with, but you there's no enumerator to loop over like the elements. You know what I mean? Like in a loop, you can't just do a for next on the elements because you have to you have to do a loop over them. Hmm. You mean like in, in, well, yeah, you have to do a, 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 a normal loop. Loop yes. the amount of items it has and then yes. just go ahead and right. yes. Because there are no, there's, if I remember correctly, there's no enumerator, something like right. that to say, go to the next one. But right. that was, and that, is that, is that an example where in the DLL, it probably is a way to do it, but the person that created the com object didn't add that functionality? Is that what's going on? Or I, I would assume so, because the thing is that in, in, in C++, you have enumerators automatically there. So th that's part of the language features, uh -huh. right? Now, um, when, when you create a com object, you're distancing yourself from the C++ language. Sure. So Thank God. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 they, and they should implement kind of like a, form of enumeration by themselves, which people might say, like, leave that to the person who is programming in their um, um, right. native yeah. language, right. in this case, out right. of hot the whole key. Special so, things we've been talking out about hot key, yeah. So out of hot key right. should have an enumerator. It doesn't have it at the moment. Well, they, they do have an enum. You can, uh, oh, yeah, in their own com object thing, yes. but Right, but it doesn't read on the com right. object from, yeah. Yes. So it, right. it, I would say, like, that is the fault, if in quotation marks, of the auto hotkey language, not the fault of gotcha. the com object. Right. Because the okay. com object has nothing to do with okay. that. Because I know has to do that is the language. I believe at one point I saw somebody, and I, it may have been like so I don't remember, but someone saying, should we create that? Or the other one was someone said, should we create a with? You know, because like in VBA, you can do a with, you can select something and then say, okay. with yeah. this, do. And you just add the dot notation near the end, but right, you don't have okay. the beginning part. You say with this, okay. do all these dot font, dot color, dot whatever, right? And, it, oh, and right, I remember, yeah. I think Lexico said that, and people are I like, well, it's I not think, that big a deal, you know? I think, and I, I, I'm subscribed to their changes, to the changes to the auto hotkey hmm. uh, 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 repository. Uh -huh. So no, so to the main oh. auto hotkey. Oh, okay. So I, yeah. I'm looking at him and the other guy, there's two people working on the next version of auto hotkey. And I see some of the changes. And a few weeks ago, I saw them discussing something about some enumerators. So I think that's something that oh, might be on the name cool. and the next version. Yeah. Yeah. It's and again, it's I'm not knocking it, right? It's just a little, no, no. A little bit of a but, but it is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. To, that's to, the problem. So they, they, they're just considering whether it, it, right. it is worth well, all the work, right? You know, this is the exact, we just had this conversation five minutes ago, right? With like, when you're working with the, the library, how do you decide what to add what to, to it? Add how many is it going to help? Yeah, it's like that balance. And then, crap, there's more I have to maintain, you know, and deal with errors. That's that. the same thing that come objects creators have to deal with. Oh, they create right. the object. How much should I have to maintain this? How right. much do I have to add? How much is that what we need? Uh, there's a lot of things that go into creating this common object. Right? Uh, in some cases, they just decide against some things. That's all. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, that was a, I, I think some people are going to find that very interesting to help understand the, 
the the, the relationship there because that's I don't see that anywhere like an actual explanation of it. So thank you. You're welcome, then. <laughs>